Hey, 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 how's it going on everyone? Welcome to another video. I'm your host, Bogo Zed, and today we're going to talk about Brime. Have you ever heard of it? Not? Not to worry. What got you? Grab your cuppa, sit back and relax. Let's do it. Guys, I want to just start by saying that this is not an attack to Brime. But to me, it's an opinion and also it's a way for me to express what I found that I like about Brian and I don't like about Brian. This is all constructive feedback. If you're watching this, Brian, listen carefully because I do want the platform to succeed despite everything. Now, now that we got on with our disclaimer, let's go into it. Now, what's Brian? Well, in simple word, is a streaming platform, right? Let's go have a look at it together. Okay, so this is Prime when you first get in. Um, it's not as full, but you can see, you know, people streaming and everything, right? Um, you have a scroll, uh, a scroll on the left that will say live stream categories and it shows you only four categories at the moment because that's the live categories. Then you have platform starts, that is still empty, and then support. That links you, links you to brand support, which has everything. Speaking of which, I got something very funny, so I'll stick to the end because that, that would be the bonus thing about Brian. I've never seen him before, and that's very interesting. Anyway, uh, I already logged in, obviously, so when you click on the side, you will see settings, my channel, create the studio subscription, and log out. So let's go into the settings first. So this will be your display name. Uh, you can browse, you can add your own, uh, for example, this is my logo. There you go and it saves automatically. This is my name, so I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna change it. Chat username, color, chat language, English, American, and then security and privacy, you can enroll into 2FA. Uh, I'm not gonna enroll because I'm, I'm keeping it in the background now. Now, you got my channel. This is what you agree to when the stream is offline. And you see, I have two. I thought I had one. Okay, I got two now. That's good. Then you have socials. This channel doesn't currently have any social added. I didn't even know you could add it. Uh, see how long I've been out. And those are my stream 35 seconds, two minutes 36. I didn't even realize. Anyway, then you got the chat settings. You can ding on new messages and show timestamps, which is pretty pretty handful and then you can see who's your uh, in chat i guess those two are a bot so don't forget to <laughs> block them if you see them in your chat i will do when i finish uh, this recording now for the ah and you can add pictures as well gifs uh, it, it's good uh, on top of emojis as well you know you can add literally anything anyway other than that and also we'll have a look at a very interesting feature in the creator studio now this is your main hub if you're a streamer um, where you can set your stream title the category and then Brahm is including both stream labs and obs studio you can get your stream key here. SRT, not many platform use it, is not as reliable, even if the name is Secure Reliable Transport, but it's not as reliable with connections and is not well used. Most platforms still use RMTP, which is RMPT. <laughs> sorry um which is which has been around for the longest time and is very very reliable now at the bottom will say need the server url for custom streaming viewer and just the service right 
um, this happens if um, you want to add RTMP manually. Because what happens is when you are on Streamlabs or OBS, you will just log in with your Brahma account and it will do everything. Um, if you decide to go through custom RN, RMP, RMTP, it will give you all the, all the servers, but this is the first but prime. What on your website, you say that you have three locations in the US, one in Canada, one in Brazil, one in South Africa, and so on. When there are only three locations available through OBS, um, anyone at the time of the recording the video. So if you have OBS, go check it out. Out of all the locations that are shown here, right, the only two that work are Ashburn VA, San Jose, and Amsterdam, Netherlands. No other location works as of the time of the, that I'm recording this video. Let's talk about the stuff that I, in my opinion, Brian can improve at the end of the tutorial. Now, uh, then you got channel, uh, you can enable VOD recording or disable them. Um, hide of your account. I usually recommend to hide it anyway. And it doesn't even work anyway. Uh, <laughs> so you can um, put a banner for your offline channel. So instead of saying channel offline, you can apply the file size 10 megabytes maximum. Uh, GIF supported, which is good. Not many platforms that do support um, GIFs. Chat settings. Chat more standards, sub only, emote, follower only, emote only. All GIF image, uh, allow GIFs, allow links. I would probably remove it. Actually, no, I'll keep it on because it will have a separate bot anyway um, to, do, to do the rest of the chats. Um, enable base screen, base screen of chat messages, that's fine. Require chatters to have two, to FA, no. Um, allow can any age, I usually do one day old just in case, just in case it's not a bot. Then, to the best features. Set custom bot name, so you can use your custom bot name in chat. And then, those are the commands that I had set up, my old commands. Uh, some of them are still up to date, but most of them, um, they are updated. If you want the full list, just jump in on one of my streams and, uh, um, and write exclamation mark command in chat and you will have everything coming through. Uh, broadcast. So those are the last broadcasts uh, that I've done with them. Now, multi-streaming. Twitch and Trover manage via integrations. We'll have a look at the integration in a minute. Multi-chat, this is what I was talking about. So what multi-chat is, Use a stream sync, allow you to have all your chat messages in one place. Multi chat options are available once you configure multi streaming. What that means is you log in with your Twitch, you log in with your Trovo in the multi streaming section, and you turn them on, and then you can enable multi chat or disable it on the side. And just by being on your stream on Prime, you will see the chats from Prime, obviously, but Twitch and Trovo as well. So we saw the integrations where there are a few more, uh, Streamlab, Stream Elements, um, Donations, Kofi, Castellab, multi Multi-Stream Tool. I'd be happy to go through in deep, as a deep dive on each one of them. Uh, just let me know in the comments below and um, it'll be done. Widgets and docs. So those are all browser sources for uh, OBS and they can add uh, either on your stream or on the side doc. You know, those, um, 
the stocks that you can add to your outside of the stream. Okay, so this is what Brime looks like. Let's come back to my beautiful face. There you go. Okay, so you saw what Brime is. Now, let's talk about what set Brime apart from everyone else and what can be improved. Now, what sets Brime apart from every other platform on the market except for Restream at the moment? Um, there's probably the closest competitor. Um, it offers two platforms for free that you can restream to, that you can push your stream to while you're pushing anyway to Brime. You have the multi chat, which is the same as well on Restream. There you have all your chats in one place on Brime. Now, let's talk about the bad things. Oh, not really bad things. Stuff that Brime can improve on. And it's probably two. Now, at the time that I'm recording this video, it only integrates Switch and Trovo. But before this new update that they made to the platform, Brime used to push the stream to uh, YouTube, to DLive and Facebook. Um, I understand that with the new update, they made a better integration for Twitch and Trovo, which are probably the main live streaming platforms anyway. So it should work better. So, um, but re-adding those other platforms in the long -term run, it could be beneficial. So, and also one thing that I wish is that as you mentioned on your own website, Brian, make sure that all your server locations are open because I've had a discussion as well with the lead developer on the Discord. And because I asked them, you know, it's on your website. Why, when you log in with uh, Brime on OBS, he only gives you two locations in the US and one in Europe. And because I'm like, not everyone is either from Europe or the US. There are other countries, you know? And he said to me, oh, I will open up those other those other service when there is an actual need. Newsflash, you're not the only platform on the market. Yes, you do offer a few more things than others, but I found the work around because at the end of the day, I'm not from the US. You, <laughs> you can probably tell from my accent that I'm not American or European. Um, I mean, I'm originally from Europe, but that, that's beside the point. I don't live in Europe. Um, I won't have a stream that drops 50% of the frame just to stream on Prime. All right, guys, before we end the video, I thought I would share this. So at the beginning is going to be funny. Be aware. I took the snapshot from the Prime support website. And I had to share it with you guys because it's too funny. Let's have a look at it together. All right. So I am a Twitch partner and my name says it's taken on Brime. Thanks for taking interest in Brime. We are happy to help you with this. We have pre-reserved name of popular Twitch streamers, brands and partners before releasing username registration to the public. One of these names might be yours. To claim and verify that you are legitimate, please follow support tickets for the someone claim my username category. This is only for notable streamers, brand or influencers. <laughs> if you are a popular Twitch streamer, affiliate, not affiliate or partner, notable brand or YouTuber, social media influencer, we can help claim your username for you if someone has already claimed it without your permission. 
what? We will get back to you as soon as possible and make sure that you have ownership all of the username registration after we're verifying you. <laughs> Sorry for the post, but this is, it explains itself, guys. It really explains itself. I appreciate you staying until now. Don't forget that I stream every Friday at 8 p.m. Australian Central Center Time on Twitch and Trivo. Don't forget to join us up on Discord. The link is down below. As usual, smash the subscribe button, slap a comment down below, even just your favorite emoji works. Also, like wouldn't hurt, and it's free. And all of those help a lot the channel. So, until next week, guys, happy creating.